What the f- what the fuck is this? There we go, much better. What's up my fellow retards, today is gonna be the first ever tutorial on how to reskin Animal Revolt Battle Simulator units because these shitty ass content creators are keeping it for themselves for some reason. Alright, so what you're gonna have to do is you have to click the link in the description below and go to here. After that, you have to figure out if your PC is uh, 32 bits or 64 bits. Well, mine is 64 bits, so I click over here. And I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it again. <coughs> you're gonna have this. Alright, you open it, you run as administrator. After you run as administrator, you're gonna have to wait a bit. There you go. And then, of course, we need to put we need to connect it to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. For, okay. This only works with the actual Steam uh, Steam version of the game. So if you have it pirated, first of all, fuck you. And second of all, get money and buy the game. It's not that expensive, bro. Alright. So go to your library. Right click here in Animal Revolt. Go to properties, local files, and browse. There you go. You're gonna go. You're gonna have to go here, and there you go. You copy this, Control C, and go here. Open file, paste, enter. Then you're gonna have to scroll down to find the shared assets too. Shared assets to dot assets. All right, you click, double click that. All right, scroll down to the latest version, and wait a bit till this downloads. After it's done downloading, you uh, press type like, there you go, there you go, until you find like T. Then you can just basically, hold on. First of all, before doing that, you have to do some file and hold on. I don't really remember how to do it, so jump cut. <laughs> Alright, now that I remember, you have to go scroll down to the actual textures, like from here. It says texture over here. It, it, it does say texture like some 2D. Believe me, take my word for it. And then scroll down all the way until you find the... Alright, the end of textures. Alright, and then shift, click. Shift, click. It's gonna select all of the textures. From the first textual texture, from the first texture, then scroll down all the way to the end of the textures, shift, click. All right, then all you have to do is, and then uh, first of all, make a folder here. For example, animal revolt textures. There you go, you see it? Then you press export PNG. You select your file, go to go to wherever the fuck the file is. Uh, there you go, desktop. And then click on this, the file that you just made. It's gonna take a while. All right, so there we go. Here's the folder. It has all of the textures. Let's say you're trying to find the the magma golem texture. So look up magma, and then. Oh wait, it's not called the magma golem. My bad. It's called lava golem. Lava. There you go. And you'll see this. This the uh, if you edit this, it just like affects his thumbnail photo. This is all the the red pieces that glow. So if you want them uh, to be like yellow pieces or whatever. Then sure you can change the hue or whatever, but right now I'm looking for the for the actual magma golem texture. Hold on, one second. Well, that's not it because it still has uh, like transparent stuff. You see. And then open your Photoshop program. I use Paint.net since. I ain't speed.net since it's easier for me Photoshop really, I, I try to use it but I really can't. Uh, it's I made, I make all my thumbnails and fun fact, 
every single art that, that is in this channel, I made it myself. I kind of know how to draw. Well, I wouldn't call it drawing since I usually use this tool right here. I do have a graphics tablet though. Thinking of, uh, thinking of like upgrading my skills. And if you want to see more of my artwork, you can uh, go to the go to my own Discord server. It's called Crimson Strike. It's the Discord server for all gamers. We usually uh, we usually play Roblox FPS games, Minecraft, and etc. We I made a new Animal Revolt uh, battle simulator, like general chat and stuff. And yeah, if you want to join, feel free to. Just don't be a dick. All right, so we want to make the magma golem. Let's say black, since I don't know what the V Dimension was thinking when they made the uh, lava golem white. Like, it. tell me the last time you've ever seen a white rock. Am I right? Also, lava rocks are black, so I'm still confused. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invert it. Where's the. Inv First of all, make it black and white. Alright, then invert it. Right, that's not, that's not it because it's gonna look like someone comes on him, as you can see. Uh, then what you're gonna do is no, not that. Uh, brightness and contrast. Maybe make the contrast a bit lesser and the brightness. Keep doing it and and le until you find that good looking black. There you go. That's a good black. Right, then what you have to do, save. You think you're done? No. You do this, go over here, <clears throat> and look up. What you have to do is you have to like type whatever this says like really fast. Like lava, gold, um, ah, I fucked it up. Let's, this says, Let's see if this is the actual. Make sure to always double check. Double check. Ah, well, turns out it's not it. Yeah, this one, uh, it's not it. It's not it. Keep scrolling. Lava, go. And then lava. This is, this is just default OBJ. That's not what we're looking for. Lava. This is metallic smoothness. Lava. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is just transparency. It has nothing else. You see? There's a one here. And then there's nothing here. And then there's nothing here. This is what we want. Alright, so click on this. Click on plugins. Edit. Go to load. And then we have to find this. So copy and paste that over here. Enter. And there, there is the one that we want. Pre after you loaded it, press OK. Make sure to make it on very fast. OK. And OK. Again. Takes a bit of a while. Press OK over here. Save changes. You have to save it on desktop. And we're done. Refresh. We have the shared assets new folder over here. What you're going to have to do... Go back to your, go back to Steam, click on browse again, go over here, and finally, drag, drag the new folder over here. Press replace files, and you're done. We have the new skin. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to reskin. These shitty ass YouTubers didn't want to make a tutorial, so... I had to brute, brute force myself into knowing how to do it, and I made the tutorial for you guys. So yeah, make sure to join my Discord, don't be a dick, and good night, my fellow retards. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, <I'm> <laughs>